Now, recently, Gucci Man proposed to his girlfriend, Keisha Kaor, mm -hmm. at the Atlanta Hawks basketball game mm -hmm. uh, right after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, thoughts on that? Hey, salute to Gucci. You know what I mean? Salute to Gucci. Find in love. Everybody, uh, it's like this running story that he, he left her with two million when he went to jail and he came back home with six. Shit. You better marry her. <laughs> you done fucked around and married the candy lady, nigga. You better, you better fuck with her. I don't know. What, how did she turn to? She must have been selling the fuck out some waist trainers and bundles, nigga. Four million dollars? That's a lot of money. Motherfuckers live their whole life and don't make a half a million. And she done took two and turned it into six. So, yeah, I mean, and she stuck with him the whole time he was in jail and, and all of that. And, you know, I mean, I see a lot of dudes putting on Instagram that, you know what I mean, oh, y'all you, bitches talking about what Gucci did, you couldn't turn, you know, you can damn near turn off the motherfucking stove, let alone turn some money into some money. But nigga be like, do you have two million to even give a bitch to try, nigga? You know what I mean? You can't talk that shit with you. You won't marry your bitch and she paying all the bills in an apartment, nigga. You need to shut the fuck up so she realize what's going on in there. But uh, I think it's, I mean, I think it's dope, you know what I mean, for, you know, somebody to feel like they want to, you know, like I say, split all their assets with somebody. He didn't already did it. You know, she didn't prove that she's, you know, worthy of doing that. So, salute to Gucci. You know what I mean? Got her that big ass ring. Everybody was talking about the fact that he ain't get on one knee. Fuck getting on one knee when you got a ring that big. He could have slid that motherfucker across the court and she'd have put it on. God damn it. He, he could have had that motherfucker. He could have had the mascot come and do one of them dances and, and, and had that motherfucker fall out his head. Big as that motherfucking ring was. That nigga gave her a goddamn ring that came out of vending machine, but it really had diamonds in it, nigga. That shit was amazing. Does seeing a story like that make you think about your own personal you know, relationship and, 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 and stuff like that in the future and marriage. And I know we've talked about marriage before, but does seeing something like that motivate you or are you still? <laughs> fuck no, it don't. <laughs> fuck wrong with you, dude. No, it doesn't. I can give a fuck about <laughs> how motivating the love. Listen, no, man. No, not me. I just don't adhere to that. You know what I mean? That's just my personal opinion. No, I mean, because you got to think, like, when you think about it logically, like, I don't, I like to have these conversations with people because motherfuckers always look at me as being like some type of anomaly or something like that because I just don't believe in it. I, I believe in love. Love is real and all of that. But, like, you ever thought about the fact of why do you have to buy a ring? You ever thought about that? What's the reason? Like, if I love you and we love each other, why is our love not, why, is, why do I have to go through that process? Where does it even come from? Motherfuckers couldn't even tell you where the, where the, the, the you know what I mean, procedure that people go through, that, that men have to go through to be able to prove to a woman that I want to be in love with you forever. Because the process of being married is just going to the courthouse and signing your name on some documents. So all of that other shit that you got to do, why do you have to do that? Like, what's the reason for having to do that? Like, the real reason. Not because of what you think is it supposed to be. Like, what's the reason for it? And most people don't have a real answer for that. It's always, well, I don't, I don't want to hear your personal opinion about why you mad about me not giving a fuck. I want to hear why you do. You know what I'm saying? So that shit, no, it does. I just don't, you know, it, it'd take too long for me to really get too deep into it, but... Nah, that shit is just not for me. You know what I mean? If it's for you, wow. Love and be merry and be happy. But like I said, never underestimate how quick your soulmate will turn into your roommate. Don't do it. Because that shit will happen quick than a motherfucker. That shit will happen quicker than she put that big ass ring on. I'll tell you like now, that. Now, now, speaking of that statement you just said about the roommate, uh, don't you have a podcast or? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Yeah, you know, I'm definitely coming because because these type of conversations that I have, I had these conversations with women all the time. Like you can look up a video on YouTube of me going back and forth with a young lady. Man, it's called the Wingman of the Year. But just I just like to talk that type of shit because, you know, for me, this is righteous. I'm really like this. And the thing that people don't understand is when you had this type of perspective as a man, when you don't bullshit with a woman. Nine times out of ten, you're going to take the L. Like, you got to learn how to take the L because most women say they want the truth, but they ain't never. Most All the women, they be like, I want a man to keep it 100 with me, but you ain't never had nobody keep it 20 with you, let alone 100. So you don't know what the fuck that other 80% entails. 
So you got to wait till somebody really start keeping it funky with you for real for you to know if that's what you want. But most of the time, that's not what, you know, they are, they're going to tell you no, which I respect because my theory is I'm going to let you know exactly who and what I am as soon as you meet me and act like you want to do something with me. And then you're going to be able to make a decision as to whether or not I'm a person you want to dedicate time to. And if so, then we can rock out. If not, God bless you. You know, I wish you the best on your journey. But once you accept what it is that I'm telling you, then that means that certain problems that most dudes have to deal with because they being full of shit, I don't have to tolerate because that fucks with my peace of mind. And I can't have that. I got too much other shit to worry about than to be worried about how you feel about something that you done made up in your head. I don't give a fuck about that. Like, this is what it is. This is what it's not. Don't bring me this. I won't bring you this. Like, I just, you know, I just believe in that. You know what I mean? But I also don't believe in wasting a woman's time. Like, if, if I ain't what you want, go find it. I'll be all right. I, you know, I got the internet on my phone. I can jerk off all night if I want to. I don't give a fuck. Go find what you're looking for. I'm just not into the, you know, the playing the games and all that shit. That shit is a waste of time because at the end of the day, you're not doing nothing but putting yourself in a position where you're going to end up miserable because you feel like you owe somebody something. And that's on either side for the man or the woman. And that shit is retarded. Now, when can we look forward to this podcast? Oh, man, I'm getting it together now, man. I'm, uh, I am already got the, the young lady that I think that I want to be, you know, uh, hosted with me. She has a, she thinks completely different than I do. And our conversations are always uh, very intriguing, to say the least. So we go back and forth like a motherfucker. Like, people would think we fuck with each other, but we don't. But, you know, it's just that serious. Like, one she gets, those, she gets really shit. mad at me about my perspective on stuff because she's just one of those women that just believes in love and just loves love. And, I, okay, all right. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, love is cool, but what about the real shit? Like, what's up with the reality of what's going on? Like, most women don't even understand that a lot of the shit that they go through be because they don't even know how to ask the right questions to a man. Like, you know, ever since a dude's dick start working, he been trying to use it on you. It's like having a week worth of interviews at McDonald's. On Monday, you might not know what to say, but if you got any common sense about yourself by Sunday, you gonna know exactly what the fuck to say to get that job. So if you think about what a man has been doing his whole life, why you... Keep asking the same questions. Stop asking, well, what are you, where are your goals? And, what, you know, what's, what's the, start asking some real shit. How many times a week do you beat your dick? <laughs> Ask some shit like that. Ask some real questions. Like, what's your face? Like, some shit that's going to make a man look at you and be like, what the, what the fuck you, what you ask me? To? Like, that, and, and if he's hesitating and all that shit off the break, then you might want to, that give you a little sign. This motherfucker trying to figure out what he going to say about something that should be, that he knows the answer to immediately. And that those type of questions give you a gauge of what type of person you're dealing with. Not the, you know what I mean, so what are your views on relationships? The same thing I told the last bitch that I'm finna tell you to. So, I mean, it's just, you know, but it is what it is. Like I said, I don't want to go too deep into it because... No, I already got people in the comments who don't know who the fuck I am. Now I'm going to have a bunch of women coming in there. You motherfucker, you don't know. I don't need them problems, Smalls. You know what somebody told me? I, I can't remember who said this to me or where I heard this from, but uh, somebody said that when you date a person for like the first year, you're not really dating them. You're dating their representative. Yeah, everybody has a... every Like, every man is the CEO of his of himself like every man is his own corporation in regards to who he is and walking around out here and in a corporation you have a lot of different positions you got the CEO and you got the motherfucking the, the mailroom nigga like and who we are at our core is always the mailroom nigga <laughs> at all times but we can't be that person you know what I mean every woman has an audition table in front of her pussy it's no different than me auditioning for a role I come in and it's a bunch of other niggas sitting in the room. You know what I mean? You might not know who they are, but they there. Just know that. They might have you separated, but there's some other niggas auditioning too. You know what I'm saying? And you come in and you look around and you got your script and... and oh, what's up, bro? Hey, what's going on? You too? Okay, that's what it is. Then you walk into the audition room and you're like, hey, my name is Chico Bean and I'm here to audition for a role in that pussy. Uh, and you got to talk about all the good shit about yourself. 
You know what I mean? Oh, well, yeah, I got a job. I got, <laughs> you know, I got my own car. You know, I'm on TV. If you watch uh, Wild and Out and uh, MTV, I'm on a couple of TV shows. And then she's going to be like, okay, all right, well, I like that. Let me, let me get back to you. I'll let you know if you deserve some of this pussy. That's what do every man is doing. So how could you expect him to be who he really is? You're not going to give him the role if he come in there. What do you want to do? I want to just sleep in the trailer and, you know, wait for you to give me some pussy. And then once I get the <laughs> pussy, I'm going to go ahead and just get the fuck on about my business. Uh, okay, <laughs> goodbye. You're not. You know, so it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a game, man. It's a game that's being played. And I don't want to play. You know what I mean? I'm, fuck it. I'm out. Like, I'm. this is what it is for me. I'm. You know, I'd rather shoot on the side court by myself than run full court fucking around with that bullshit.